Pete David here with DIY Mountain Bike. Gonna talk about cadence sensors. What are they? How do they work? How are they wired in? Is there any hacks with it? So we're gonna jump into all of these things. We'll go over to the bench, talk about the individual components, how they hook together. Get on the bike here and check out where it's at on the crank and then how it actually works on an electric bike. So hang on. So what is a cadence sensor? In its simplest fashion, it's basically a sensor and a magnet. So this part attaches onto the bottom bracket of the bike. This part attaches over the crankshaft and these little bat magnets, these little magnets are picked up by a sensor inside of here. So as this spins, it sends a signal to our controller. It's basically a little computer for your e-bike. These things can come in different styles. This one's got a bunch of magnets, which allow us a little bit more functionality on the cadence sensor itself. With this, you can program some things to kind of slowly ramp up the power on your bike, or if you're pedaling real fast, it will actually reduce the power if you want at the higher speed. You think about going real fast, you don't need a lot of power being applied. So raw sense, it's a switch that sends a signal to the controller which applies power to the rear wheel or the motor. Another style, this guy has a little bit less functionality. It's really similar to what's on my wife's bike. So there's a pickup located close to this wire and then the magnets are located inside here it's only got about three magnets inside there there's some bearings as well but those three magnets give a lot less sensitivity so on my wife's bike it's a lower end e-bike it actually kind of jerks taking off once it senses that motion so that's the different styles and wiring for a cadence sensor. Let's jump into the bike where it's located and we'll try the stuff out. Hey David here, I'm breaking in real quick. That link I keep mentioning takes you to a step-by-step -step page. Picking the right bike, what's inside the kit, disassembling your bike, installing the motor, five steps for an e-bike wiring and components, putting your tail light on, routing and organizing, and then it goes into other items as well. Each one of these pictures you can click on is an article with, in this case, detailed instructions for installing the motor, what tools do you need, and then it includes a video. So I keep mentioning, go to that link below. This is why I've got it all organized in a nice, clean format for you to take you from start to end. So like I said, the cadence sensor is located on the crank of the bike. So right here is the cadence sensor. It actually senses movement of the crankshaft. It doesn't apply power in, in a sense of the power setting. That a lot of times is set up with the pedal assist level. Let's turn this guy on and show you how it works. So we'll cycle the pedal. hear the motor kicking in find some power so let's go up another level so I got a pedal assist 3 again sensing that power if I stop you can hear that motor kicking out this pedal again So that's how the pedal assist works. Now that is different than the throttle, right? We can use throttle speed. Fully throttle at this point. So I hope that helps describe what a cadence sensor is on an e-bike. 